Hey folks, Boda Bob here. I'm going to try to throw together a real fast video on this uh, DR Rapid Fire Log Splitter. It's called the DR Kinetic 75 Rapid Fire or something to that effect. So without running my mouth too much, let me tell you what I like about it. I like that it's fast. In my last video, you saw how fast it was. Three second cycle time. What don't I like? I need a log lift. Um, no log lift. Once again, let me see something. The working height of this is 26 inches off the ground. Let's see what the working height is off of the uh, Troy built. The Troy built is also 26 inches, so you know there's a lot of bending over and. Uh, you know, I, I just can't bend over like that for long periods of time. So without, um, what else don't I like? Well, everything on this, you have to buy. Um, well, I shouldn't say everything. The work table, you have to buy, which I did. I think they also have legs or you can make legs for it. That's not a bad idea uh, if you're lifting up big rounds and putting on it. I would use my uh, Kubota tractor, put big rounds in the bucket, lift them with the bucket, drive it over to the splitter, and then split them into the bucket. So that's how I uh, overcome that uh, obstacle. One of the things that some people uh, complain about, and this, this table has holes drilled in the side, I guess that's so you can put some like fences there to keep your wood from falling off. I didn't purchase those. That wouldn't be a bad idea. Um, the tires go flat all the time. Uh, don't like that. I really should put tubes in them, but I'm not gonna use this anymore. And so I just let them go flat. I made some, uh, I took some two by fours, three of them and with a uh, fourth one on the back and what I did is put that under the axle and that keeps the uh, tires from going down and you know breaking the bead and so here's how that works the axle sits a little more than three high and then this fourth one kind of catches it and keeps it from sliding out the back side and I can just throw it under there I got one for each side and uh, the uh, other tire doesn't go flat as, as fast, but this they both go flat, but this one will go flat overnight. And so I've got to put those um, s s like jack stands under uh, the log splitter to keep it from breaking the bead on the uh, tire when I air it up. In order to engage this, you have to, you have to push this forward, but there's an interlock. So you got to lift the interlock. There's an interlock on this side and an interlock on the side I'm standing. You lift that up and that allows you to engage the uh, rack into the pinion. When you do, when you move this forward, the uh, rack will sit down into the pinion gear and the uh, ram will come out and drive your log through the uh, splitter. Uh, another thing is the size of this wedge. It's not a very big wedge. Now, most logs, I've split some big logs with this, and a lot of times it requires you to um, split it twice, once on both sides. And it'll get stuck on there, and then comes out the sledgehammer. Now, unlike a hydraulic where you could tie a chain to the ram and to the log, you can pull it back, but not with this one. Um, it, it's got two weak springs that retract the uh, kinetic ram uh, back into the housing. So you have to beat it off. And yeah, it, it can be exhausting. Another super, super bad thing I don't like about the DR is chips will get built up on the I-beam. And if you ever get a, a, a spring what will happen when the ram comes out, sometimes a chip will get driven up underneath the ram and it'll get stuck. And I've had them stuck so bad 
that I couldn't beat it out with a sledgehammer. And it's not easy to swing the sledgehammer because you got the wedge here and you know, it's a confined space and you just can't beat it off. So you have to literally take these off and then, I don't know. It's just, it's, it's, uh, it's a lot of work. It'll take you over an hour. It takes me an hour. Um, and yeah, that's a bad thing. But the worst thing of all is when you're splitting, if there is a hidden knot inside of your log and you have this coming out, it will yank this violently. And I mean violently back. In fact, uh, there was a different um, grip on here and uh, one time I was running it and it yanked it so hard out of my hand it threw the grip off and threw it into the woods and I never found it. So I got me a Honda motorcycle grip to fit on there. Um, it doesn't offer any kind of cushion or the, uh, the one that comes from DR is uh, foam rubber like and, and it offers a little bit of cushion, but not enough, not enough for my elbow. Um, it's permanently damaged. I got tinnitus in my elbow now, and I honestly believe it came from this log splitter. Um, that's the truth. So I'm going to go see if I can find a piece of knotty wood to split. We're going to split this one here. Let's start out by splitting this one and I'll see if I can find a piece of wood suitable to demonstrate the kickback. That, my friends, is the only thing I like about the DR wood splitter, uh, the kinetic wood splitter, is it's fast. Um, it went through a piece of this branch wood real easy, but it's not really designed to uh, take care of uh, naughty stuff. Or if it is designed to take care of naughty stuff, it doesn't work. So I have a piece of uh, cordwood here, and it's 16 and a half inches long, and it's 11 inches thick. Um, I believe it's white oak and uh, let's see what happens. I don't know if it'll go through easily or difficultly. it that's the last piece of wood I am ever splitting with the DR kinetic 75 rapid fire um, if you're paying attention you would have seen I didn't know this I didn't know this but there was a knot right there I didn't do that on purpose if I know there's a knot there, I try to put it at the back. That way it's not as hard. But as soon as it hit that knot, it yanked that um, engagement bar out of my hand. And uh, tried to do it a second time. It went in a little bit and yanked it out. And then, of course, the third time it was able to go through it. But trust me, you can't take too many of those hits. It hurts and it's doing permanent damage to your elbow. At least that's what I believe. It's my opinion. Um, you know, the, the decision's yours, folks. If you wanna take and um, buy a DR Kinetic Splitter, by all means, go for it. it the choice is yours. Is it a free country? Well, it is for now. Um, you can make your own choice, your, your adults. Don't buy one for your kid. Don't buy one for your wife. 
Um, yeah, it's just dangerous, in my opinion. Oh, I almost knocked you over there, guys. So, without any further ado, do me a favor. Hit the like button, subscribe, share this video with a friend. And if you know anyone interested in buying a DR uh, kinetic log splitter, point them to this video and have them take a look. Um, with with the, uh, I'm gonna get on out of here. I'm getting tongue tied. This thing's frustrating. So, but regardless of how frustrating this is, enjoy the journey. Cheers.